Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Shelly and today I am doing the booktube anniversary tag. So who knew I'd be sitting here doing an anniversary tag? I didn't. <laughs> I actually didn't even know it, it existed until a couple of months ago, but there you go. So we have a bunch of questions, so let's just, you know, get into the video, shall we? So this tag was originally created by Book Your Imagination and I shall try to leave all the links down below. So question number one, what anniversary are you celebrating? Number one, I am celebrating this little channel's first anniversary. Question number two, what genres do you mostly focus on? So I've mentioned this before but and if you've seen any of my wrap-up videos you will kind of notice that I don't really have one genre that I just go after. Uh, I try to like, I'm very much a mood reader so I just like pick up whatever whenever. Uh, it goes from anything from fantasy to chiclet. <laughs> uh, you have a gorgeous cover, a interesting title, an interesting plotline, an author I've heard of before. Basically that book is for me. But you know bearing in mind I do quite, I do think I read mostly like YA kinds of books but in all aspects of the genre. Question number three. What's been your channel's proudest moment in the past year? Uh, basically not a lot has happened. So I would say being here one year later is my proudest moment so far. Question number four. Do you receive ARCs to review? And the answer is yes. Uh, but I very rarely actually accept them, uh, only for the fact that they are mostly e-arcs and I have trouble reading ebook formats. Um, so I try not to, I really don't want to accept something and then not be able to review it as it should be reviewed, uh, give it all the love and attention that it deserves. Whether it's a good book or not, it should still receive the same kind of eyes <laughs> as it were uh, as a regular physical book. Question number five. What type of videos do you enjoy making most? Uh, I enjoy the easy editing videos. <laughs> silly question, silly answer. I don't really have one kind of type of video that's my favourite. Uh, I do mostly enjoy, yeah, the easy editing choices because uh, uh, I am not very good at the editing and uh, let's not make it complicated, shall we? Uh, but uh, <laughs> Saying that, I would like to like branch out in what kind of videos and filmmaking s visualization I would like to do. Uh, I just have not worked out how I am able to do that. So, I, you know, watch this space and we shall see. Maybe next year it will be better. Question number six. What kind of videos do you like to watch from other people? Now, <laughs> uh, it very much goes like with my reading. It's very much like a mood kind of a thing. Uh, I enjoy watching... I enjoy watching basically everything. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, I once told, uh, well several times, I once told a YouTuber that I would probably enjoy watching her clean the toilet. Yeah, I don't know why but there you go. As far as like channel wise, I've watched a variety of different channels and usually the one that's on my first page on my YouTube channel, my homepage as it were, uh, are all the uh, 
all the YouTubers of different kinds that I watch all of their videos and I uh, have them on notification. Not that I don't watch other YouTubers as well, I just haven't caught up with them yet. Uh, but all the ones you see on the first page, as it were, uh, are ones I regularly, you know, drop things for and watch their new video. Saying all that, I do always look for new people to watch, so, you know, recommendations are welcome. Question number seven. Was there anything you tried on your channel in the last year that didn't work? So, I haven't really tried a lot of things. Um, the only thing that hasn't really worked so far is uh, keeping... <laughs> is keeping a schedule all throughout the year. Uh, I have not been able to do that. I've tried and I failed and I've been a bit better at it for the last couple of months but you know it can come and go but I'm trying. Question number eight. Have you done anything in the last year that you won't keep doing this year? I don't think so. I mean it kind of goes back to the scheduling thing. I would kind of like to uh, like make a schedule of some sort for myself so I can like film a video, upload it and you know film the next video. Uh, as far as videos I've done this year, basically all the videos have the same kind of results as far as like views and comments and likes and all that so um, I can't really say that one has been better than the other. Um, so I guess just keep trying and see what works. You know, in the end I'm just gonna make whatever video I feel like doing whenever I feel like doing it. Uh, Cause this channel is basically just me having fun and trying new skills as far as filmmaking and editing goes. Question number nine. Is there anything you plan to do more of this year? Yes. Scheduling. <laughs> I would like to maintain uh, a certain amount of videos per week. Um, I hope I will be able to do it but at the same time I'm doing this for fun and I don't want to put the pressure on to make it work, to, feel, to make it feel like work, work that isn't fun. Um, so my plan is to do the best that I can but like I said Life happens and there you go. Question number 10. Is there anything you plan to add to your channel this year? I mean... I am currently working on a TBR game and hopefully that will be up by the start of 2022. I just have to make the logistics of it work, especially the the visual aspect of it, because uh, so far it's all in my head. And as far as other types of videos, there are loads of types of videos that I would like to do, um, and hopefully I will be able to get to do them. But we shall see. Watch this space. Question number 11. What are some of the challenges you face with your channel? Well, it all just basically goes back to the scheduling part. <laughs> I don't feel like I've had like a lot of challenges as far as I outside intervention or whatever we want to call it. Basically all my YouTube problems have been to maintain a schedule and uh, to think of ideas uh, for the videos I want to do and then how I want to do them. Because I'm an overthinker. I overthink everything. It can be an easy thing and then I've made a mess of it. So that's that's more of a me problem than a YouTube problem, so I'll, I don't know. Question number 12. What equipment do you use for filming videos? And I shall show you exactly what kind of equipment I use. 
So we are very much excusing the mess on my desk. Uh, it's what it is. Um, I just couldn't be asked to clean it up. But there you go. So the equipment I use is mostly my little Sony A5000. And I use two ring lights, one on each side, because I don't like that glare you get from, uh, you know, the, the ring light in your eyes. And yes, that is my kitchen back there. We are ignoring that as well. <laughs> so this is what I mostly film on. Sometimes I film on my phone, which is what you are on right now and if I do I do edit on my iPad which is right there otherwise it's this little one here which uh, it, it really needs to be updated but it is what it is it's what I have it's what I use it works yeah so that's my equipment question number 13 what's one piece of advice you would give to another booktuber Basically it is, if you haven't already started your channel and you want to, just do it. Be good with uploading, um, interact with people. I know I've been very bad at interacting in the past because basically I've been like a silent viewer. I've not uh, commented or anything on the videos and that's fine and all. Uh, but as far as like how the YouTube algorithm works, uh, anything, any kind of interaction you do, be it viewing, uh, liking or disliking, it doesn't really matter, uh, and commenting uh, really boosts the, um, the viewing of whatever channel you're watching. Even if you're just like commenting emojis or something, it really helps like small channel like this one to be noticed by other people, which, I mean, it's fun. It's fine to be a small, small timer and not get like a lot of views. I mean, my reason for doing this in the first place is to have fun. Uh, and I'm not really here for getting all the views, all the subs, all the, all the everything. I'm not, I mean, if it happens, yes, that's, I mean, I will celebrate any achievement or goals that happens because that's what you do. It's very, it's, it's all for fun. But in the end, I'm mostly doing it so I have an outlet to just ramble like I'm doing right now. <laughs> Question number 14. What's the best part of having a booktube channel? Basically, it's to be able to just ramble on about complete nonsense like I am doing right now and uh, No one will actually judge you for it because we all kind of watch anything don't we? I mean, I know I do I watch anything and everything within reason, but I will watch complete nonsense and be absolutely thrilled that 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 video is out there in the world. It's a great space to connect more with people, whether they make videos on their own or they just um, pop up in the comments as a one and have a chat that way. So that was the whole tag, all 14 questions. <laughs> Lastly, I just want to say a huge thank you for watching this video and any videos that I make or have made in the past uh, Whether you've been here from the start or you've just showed up here this very second of this very end of this video It doesn't matter. You're here. Hello. Thank you for being here and uh, Yeah you know what to do <laughs> and yeah that is basically all i want to say so until next time take care uh, bye bye <laughs>